Today we are going to be buying a ton of iPhones for super cheap. How are we gonna do this? We're hopping on to liquidation.com. So liquidation.com will sell huge lots of iPhones. So like literally this has 50 iPhones for $1,700. That's kind of a good price. But they're all iPhone 6s. Apple iPhone 7 Plus for $930. Ooh, look at this one. Apple iPhone 11, 10s Max, and more for $2,000. 40 iPhones. Apple iPhone 7 for $1,200. Five iPhones. That's kind of good. We'll put a bit on that one. Ooh, so this one is Apple iPhone X mixed functional for $3,100. 20 iPhones for $3,000. That's actually kind of good. Okay, we have to put a bit on this one. iPhone 11, X Max, 40 unit for $2,000. Ooh, these look kind of busted, but I kind of want to put a bit on them anyways. Let's put a bit. It doesn't hurt, right? Dang, they're selling like a ton of iPhones for only $1,200. That's actually a really, really good price. So I think we're gonna have to put a bit on this one as well. It says it's worth like $10,000. This is a little bit scary though, because these iPhones all say that you can expect general mix of conditions as is for parts or repair, no guarantees. There's no guarantee guarantees that these are even any good. The condition of this lot is salvage. Well, we put our bids. Let's see if we win any. It's been a week and we won an iPhone bid. We won the bid for 10 different iPhones that only cost us $1,300. That's actually insane. If we get a steal and deal on this, we just got 10 iPhones for $1,200. That's like unheard of. Let's hope this isn't a scam because, I mean, I did spend $1,000 on these, so I kind of want them to work. Oh, baby. I'm so excited. Okay, so here are... <laughs> so I guess these are our iPhones. I'm so nervous. These were like way too cheap. A thousand dollars for 10 iPhones? Like there has to be something wrong with them. Here are our iPhones. Why is there only six packages though? We're supposed to get more iPhones than that. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what we got in this first little package. This packaging is so whack. Who packaged these? Oh my gosh, look! Ah! The first iPhone we got is literally an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Are you kidding me right now? These are so expensive. This phone by itself is worth like $1,200. That's how much we paid for the whole box. Let's just hope it works. The condition of it on the back is not the best, however. Like there is some cracks on the bottom, but other than that, I mean, it does look pretty good. There's no cracks on the actual screen, which is good. Now it's literally just a matter of if it turns on or not. Come on, baby, give me my money back. Give me my money. Yes! Shut up! There's no way it works. Oh my God, I feel so relieved because I kind of, I mean, a thousand dollars is a lot to waste on phones. It turns on, we just gotta steal and deal. We just gotta steal and deal. Oh my God. There's somebody's baby on this screen right now. Please do not have a password on it, please. Yes, oh my gosh, okay, so there's no password on it. This is what it looked like. Again, I hate when people leave their app on their phone because it has all of their like personal information. Oh my God, they have like all their photos on here. This is just so like, I don't know why they leave all of their stuff on here. But keep in mind, like if I was some random stranger, I could totally just go on their freaking like credit cards and steal all of their money. Am I gonna do that? No, literally this is like somebody's phone. I mean, it's working really well. Like there's nothing wrong with it. The screen looks good. Other than the fact that like I could totally go on their Facebook and hack them right now. It's just see if this camera works. The camera works really well. I have no complaints about this phone other than the fact that there's someone's stuff on it. Oh my gosh, there's no freaking way. Somebody's Apple ID is on this phone. Whoever Doug Patterson is has their password still on this phone. I don't wanna say we got scammed yet because this iPhone's like still really good, but it's just the fact that there's someone's password on it. Like we can't do anything with the phone if someone's email is still on here. This thing is literally as good as nothing. I can't use it with an Apple ID on it. Maybe there are some better phones in here without an Apple ID on it. I need my money back from this box. Ooh, looks like we got an iPhone X. Okay, okay, pretty good condition. Nothing wrong with this one. Looks pretty clean. Does it turn on? Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on. Yes, another steal and dealer. Okay, I'm not gonna get too excited this time because this one could very much have a password on it and then I'm screwed. I need at least one good working phone in this. Oh my God, did you get that? You have to blur that. Oh my God, this is not gonna go on YouTube. I'm gonna get like freaking demonetized. Oh my God, blur that, blur that, blur that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well it worked. This phone is kind of whack. This definitely belongs to someone. This is somebody's phone. Like there's no way that someone sent a phone like that. Oh my God. <laughs> and there's like photos on here that is just very, oh my gosh. Please don't tell me this one has another Apple ID on it. This one works good too. Like everything's functional. The camera's working. Everything seems to be good. There's still emails on their phone, text messages. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually just reset the iPhone from start, so that way we don't have to deal with all that stuff and we can make it brand new. <gasps> no! 
Apple. Somebody's Apple ID is on this one too. I can't restart it unless I have access to that email. And that's not my email. That means we literally have two iCloud locked iPhones right now. Shut the front door. I'm starting to realize why they were so cheap. And I'm starting to think that maybe these iPhones shouldn't have been sold. These have people's information on them. And they're all locked. This iPhone totally would have been worth at least $250, maybe $300. But since it's iCloud locked, I can't get into it. I can't download apps. Literally, there is nothing I can do about this phone. I need a good one. Give me an iPhone 14. Give me an iPhone 14, please. An iPhone 11. Okay, not bad. Um, This isn't an iPhone 14, but also this one looks pretty good quality. There's not scratches on it. There's no cracks. So hey, not too shabby. Is it going to turn on? Probably not. We'll find that out right now. Oh my God. Another one turned on. I'm not even going to get my hopes up for this one though. Okay, so this one has a very nice picture of somebody's hand on it and some butterflies. Very pretty. Oh, and we're in. Look at that. Again, this one has a ton of apps on it. It's not brand new. I'm a little bit concerned as to why all of these have stuff on them. From what I can tell though, all of them work really well. The cameras work on all of them. Everything seems so good to be true, but there's just like messages. There's contacts on these. Let's just see if we can clear this off. Just as I expected, this phone is also iCloud locked. I don't know who Destiny is, but Destiny, I have your phone. Like, this is just so annoying at this point. I'm really starting to think that whoever sold these phones went and stole a bunch of people's phones and just tried to sell them. There's just so many Apple IDs left on these phones. Three locked iPhones. There better be some good ones in here. Okay, we have an iPhone 6S in here. This one's not even turning on. Let's charge this and see if maybe it's just dead. Uh, this phone is not dead, it's broken. That's another iPhone for the pile that doesn't work. Oh my God, I'm like getting so stressed out right now. Okay, so we have two more iPhones in this one, another 6S and a iPhone X. This one is also not turning on. Okay, so we're gonna charge the, this iPhone 6S did not turn on after we charged it, so it's literally just a broken piece of metal, but the iPhone X actually did. So this one goes in the trash pile, but this one actually turned on. So there is still hope. I just need one phone to work, at least one phone. No! Literally has a password on it. There is no possible way that we just got scammed right now. So this is another phone that was stolen. We still have more to go. There's still hope here, people. This one feels a little heavy. Sounds like money. This is an iPhone 8 Plus. Oh, this one came out when I was like born. All right, let's see if this bad boy turns on. It turns on. Is it gonna work? We don't know at this point, okay? I pretty much got scammed on six phones already. Okay, so here is our iPhone 8 Plus. It is on and working, and now it's just time for the moment of truth. Is it unlocked? Are we gonna get a steal and deal? Yay! Okay, so it did unlock, like I said, more apps. I really just wanted to get like a brand new phone that didn't have like people's freaking Snapchat on here. This phone overall though actually looks pretty nice. It doesn't have scratches. It's kind of old, but overall this one could probably be worth like $150, which is still pretty good. I am not mad about this phone. It works. This phone is definitely good, but now it's time for the moment of truth. Is there gonna be an Apple ID on it? Yep. This is Miss Jackie Mendez's phone with her email at the bottom. Another stolen phone for the books. All right, there is still hope that there's gonna be something good. We have a couple more packages. <gasps> Wait, is that an iPhone 13? Ah! An iPhone 13 Pro. Not just an iPhone 13, this is an iPhone 13 Pro right here. This one literally is worth like a thousand dollars as well. Who knows, if this one phone works, we'll probably get our money back for all of these. Enough talking, let's just see if this freaking works. I'm gonna give you one more try to turn on. Yeah, let's go, you see that Apple logo? Like I said, I'm not gonna get too excited because all of these have been locked or broken. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Even better. Okay, more app of someone's phone and someone's dog. Okay, so I connected it to the Wi-Fi. Oh my God, someone's baby is on here. They literally left all of their freaking emails on here. Are you kidding me? I felt, okay, that's, that's an invasion of privacy, right? We're not doing that right now. I am not gonna go through their TikTok. People's messages. Ah! I'm so snoopy. There's actually tea on this. I'm filing a protective order against you. Just stop the drama, mom. Oh my god, it's your mom. You know what? This phone is like super nice. Like it is literally almost brand new. All the apps are still on here. There is no doubt in my mind that this phone was stolen. This phone is no good to me because there's an Apple ID on it. We're gonna find something. Another iPhone X and an iPhone 12. Okay, so we have two more iPhones. And let's go ahead and turn these on. This one turned on. This one turned on. Oh my god, 
Yes, okay. Two more chances at getting a good working iPhone. So both of these aren't brand new. There's stuff on them. Oh, okay, so this one's unlocked. Very good condition on this one. This is an iPhone X. This one is probably worth like $200. This one's a pretty good steal and deal, but I'm assuming that there's gonna be an iCloud lock on it. Let's just go ahead and save ourselves the trouble and see. Yeah, this one has an Apple ID as well onto it. It's another stolen iPhone. This one has a password on it like usual, which means there is literally no way we're getting into this one. And the last phone in here is an iPhone 11. At least it turns on. I'm almost positive that these were all iCloud locked iPhones. That's why they were so cheap. No password and it belongs to somebody. Look at all of these freaking iPhones that we just bought. In my last video, you guys said that I should return the iPhone to the owner. So I think that's what we're gonna try to do. So here was the plan. I decided that I was going to see the email attached with every single Apple ID and email every single one of the owners of the stolen phone. However, people don't like to check their email. So after weeks and weeks and hours and hours of sending email, I was starting to get super discouraged thinking that this was never gonna happen until we finally got an email back from Eric Terrell. Apparently he lived in San Antonio. So I emailed him back and we set up a time and place to meet and now it's time to give Eric his stolen phone back. All right guys, it is now time to return this iPhone 13. He said that he would meet me here at the Walgreens. So hopefully he shows up. I didn't, know if, I didn't know if you were real. Though. Yes, yes, I'm you, real. I'm real. Do you really have my iPhone 13? Yes, I actually do. Oh, Is this it? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, where'd you find this? I bought it online, actually. You bought it? Yes. That's because oh people will literally try to sell the stolen phone. So when I found it online and I saw your email, I was like, shoot, let me reach out and give it back. God, I miss this baby so much. Thank yeah, you. I'm so glad I could return it to you. Yeah, I just, I didn't feel right keeping it because I knew that it was yours and it had your information and stuff on there still. So yeah, I use it for work a lot. So can I give you some of your troubles? Oh, no, 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 no. You Are don't you have sure? to give me anything. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah, oh that's God. all you. That's all you. Yeah. You're, you're an absolute sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> Thank you. It was so, so nice much. meeting you. Take care. I'm just glad all you can right. have your phone back. Appreciate it. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I don't mean to be rude. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little different from all these dudes. Okay.